So you have a show for me. Yeah, so it's a sitcom created by a comedian named Jerry Seinfeld. What's his comedy like? Oh, it's great. He'll be on stage like, what is the deal with airline food? Okay. Yeah, and then sometimes he's like, what is the deal with other stuff? I guess that sounds relatable. Yeah, and then other times he's like, what is the deal? Okay, 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 you could stop doing that voice now. Oh, yeah, sure. That's not what he sounds like, is it? Kind of. Ish. Also, he's not the best actor in the world, so he's probably gonna be on the verge of laughing all the time. Oh. Or at the very least, smiling all the time, no matter what the situation is. Okay, well, maybe people won't mind all that. So the show's gonna follow a fictional version of Jerry and basically show how a comedian comes up with material. Interesting, so we're gonna see his everyday life with his friends and stuff. Yeah, it'll be him and his three friends that are also, you know, high-functioning sociopaths. Wait, what? He has three friends. Yeah, but Jerry and his friends are high-functioning sociopaths? Oh yeah, none of the main characters have any sense of moral responsibility or social conscience whatsoever. Wow, so they're holes. Oh yeah. So tell me more about the other sociopaths. Well, one of them is named George. What's his deal? He's short, stocky, and bald, and instead of speaking, he's just gonna scream every line and kind of flail his arms around. Got it. Then there's Elaine, who used to date Jerry and is a terrible dancer. Great. Then there's Kramer. And what's he like? Oh, he's great. Of the high-functioning sociopaths, he's the least high-functioning. Interesting. Yeah, and he's gonna do this thing where he opens doors really fast. Oh. Yeah, and that'll kind of be his thing. I'll be honest, I don't get that. He's gonna open the door in a funny way. Okay, if you get the right actor, I'm sure it'll play. All right, so what kind of situations are these characters gonna get themselves into? Uh, some pretty funny ones, and this stuff's gonna be relatable forever. Oh, that's good, because sometimes after a couple of years, storylines from sitcoms don't hold up anymore. That is not gonna be a problem here. The stuff is never gonna feel dated. So what kind of situations are we talking? You know, like when you need to call somebody, but somebody's using the payphone? Ugh, I hate that. Or like when you're supposed to meet up with someone, but you can't find them, and you're like, what am I supposed to do now? That is always going to be a problem. Yeah, unless somebody invents a way to send like an instant message or something. <laughs> yeah, right, maybe in a hundred years or so. Also, we'll talk about how rude it is to use a cell phone to call somebody. So rude. That's never gonna be an okay thing to do. It's very selfish. It's gross is what it is. Agreed. So what kind of humor would you say the show has? Well, I'd say very much like Seinfeld stand-up. So he'll make observations and stuff? Exactly, like maybe they'll be at the post office and he'll be like, why is there always a line at the post office? Hmm. Okay, what's wrong? Well, they don't sound like jokes. They sound like observations. Yeah. Well, isn't it gonna be hard to get viewers at home to laugh at observations? No, actually super easy, barely an inconvenience. What do you mean? Well, I figure we can lean like really heavy into the laugh track. Oh, okay. Yeah, like if the studio audience can lose their minds between every sentence, that'd be great. We can arrange that. Then while that's happening, we can have the characters stand there and just look at each other like, and that's gonna work. Oh, for sure, it's gonna take like mundane conversations and turn them into hilarious moments. You have an example? Sure, so this is between Elaine and Jerry after Elaine went on a date and the guy took his wiener out. Go for it. He took it out. He what? He took it out. He took what out? It. He took it out? Yes siree Bob. And viewers at home will think that's funny. They will if there's a laugh track between every single sentence. Fascinating. And so that's about it. We'll just have these four Holes running around New York City and getting into trouble. Sounds good to me. Great. And you know what? I think I have a person in mind for that Kramer character. Who's that? Yeah, this actor named Michael Richards. Great guy. Oh yeah? Yeah, and you know how some actors are very hot-headed and get themselves into trouble? Like scandals and stuff? That is never gonna be a problem for this guy. Hey guys, Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. Let me know in the comment section what other movies and TV shows you'd like to see pitches for. We also have a bunch more pitches on the channel, so be sure to subscribe. And you can hit up ScreenRant.com for all the latest movie and TV news. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.